Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas number one, a Cambridge Vlogmas this Christmas. So today is the Christmas holidays and I decided to try get quite a bit of work done. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing cue cards for one of my modules which is fluid dynamics of the climate. I have always found cue cards the best way to remember material and something that I noticed when I progress, you know, throughout the years of my maths degree was that as you went on, um, it was more likely that you would be asked to kind of regurgitate something from lecture notes. So this is a good way of being able to just write everything down um, and co then continually test yourself. So here I'm not testing myself, I'm just simply writing up the cue cards. It's a good way for me to go through the lecture notes and make sure I understand everything. And then for the parts that I don't understand, just have a just send a quick email to my lecturer. It's There's quite a lot of content for this one module, a heck of a lot of content. And yeah, there's going to be quite a few cue cards for me to go over. So this is me just doing the cue cards, as I said. And this was at about half eight in the morning. Since term has ended, I've tried to rest and get as much sleep as possible. So I'm just kind of waking up when I naturally wake up and then starting work as you know, as soon as I'm fresh and ready to go. So this is about half eight. Um, continually did all these cue cards and then I decided that I would go for a walk with one of my postgraduate friends called Jason and he is very much trying to get me away from doing maths all the time by going for you know nice little walks um, just to get some fresh air and I've realised how important that is um, and also just being in Cambridge for you know the last few weeks it's so pretty around Christmas time and it's so pretty anyway so it's so lovely being able to just walk around um, and see all the beautiful buildings and all the beautiful colleges and yeah it's definitely a lovely place to live it's a, it's a slight change from my undergrad at, at Leeds University and it's just so nice that you can just set foot out of my college which is Sydney Sussex College and be on the streets and be able to see such beautiful architecture and beautiful buildings and it kind of has that wow factor of oh my gosh I am in Cambridge you know <laughs> I've said to lots of my friends that it hasn't quite sunk in yet that I'm at Cambridge and I've been here for an entire term but it's just honestly so surreal and, and so beautiful. So for today's walk I just headed out of Sydney and we walked down by the Senate House which is where I will graduate in the summer um, and which is where graduations take place and just by King's College as well which is one of the defining features of, of Cambridge University is the beautiful King's Chapel. So we had a walk around there and after our walk by King's we then headed to Queen's which is quite surprising really. I've only been to Queen's once uh, my entire first term here. I haven't really ventured that far even though it's not even that far. Um, I've just kind of got used to sticking around the places that I'm familiar with with my seizures and everything but today we kind of ventured to a new location which was King's and which was Queen's and it's so so pretty. I think something that I've realised a lot is the importance of just getting away from your work and just making sure you have breaks and take breaks and yeah experience new things is something that I've really really learned to do being at Cambridge you know there's a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, work to do at Cambridge and I think just taking you know your head away from all of that for even just five minutes does does you the power of good and helps you study so much more effectively so I guess while I'm showing you the sites of Cambridge um, I can talk to you a little bit about my college. So my college is Sydney Sussex College. It's very central and it is honestly so amazing. I love the architecture, I love the buildings, but more importantly, I really love the people that are here. Everyone is so friendly, so supportive. The college have been beyond helpful with everything that's happened. You know, as I say in all my previous videos, if you haven't watched my kind of meltdown breakdown video, then I recommend watching that because it explains a couple of things that kind of went wrong this term and just how wonderful the college have been at putting things in place for me. So yeah, as colleges go, Sydney, Sussex, I am so happy that I was placed in that college and I got into that college. It's just such a friendly feel. It's quite a small college, so you feel really kind of part of a community and kind of almost part of a family there. The postgraduate community is, is just like one big family and everyone is so lovely. So we did a little bit of a detour after we had visited Queen's just to see this really cute Christmas tree. <laughs> um, and also, it was quite early in the morning, but I thought I would grab some lunch, just so that I had it ready and I could eat it when lunch came around. So this was my lunch, a classic Sainsbury's uh, meal deal. 
the college aren't doing meals at the moment just because of you know Christmas, uh, Christmas holidays. So I grabbed my meal deal and then I got back on with some more flashcards. So as I said, flashcards are the best way for me to understand and remember material. And also I try to make cue cards out of you know anything, literally anything. It could be one sentence and I'll make it into a cue card just so that I am continually testing everything. Um, the only issue with doing things like that is that I end up with lots and lots of cue cards so it takes some time to go through and test them all but for this one module we had about I think 85 pages worth of content and yeah it's taking a while to get through I must admit there's quite a lot of content and it's very heavy so making cue cards for 85 pages is yeah quite uh, time consuming I must admit I think the mistake that I made was not doing cue cards as I went along so that is something that I would I will definitely change for when I <laughs> continue next term. So I spent a lot of time today doing cue cards, as I said, and then I decided to go for a bit of a walk. I think I spent about two more hours doing cue cards. Then Jason and I, my postgraduate friend, we decided to go for a walk around Sydney Sussex Gardens. So what I love so much about my college is that the grass, apart from the grass kind of out front where the chapel, in Chapel Court and in Hall Court, other than those pieces of grass, the grass everywhere you can step on. And that's something that's kind of um, a thing with Cambridge is, you know, unless you're a fellow, you're not allowed to step on the grass. Whereas we have gardens at the back where we can kind of sit on. We can have barbecues in the summer, in the in the winter, if you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, so that's why I really like about Sydney Gardens is that you can just go have a walk and kind of clear your mind. We also have a cute light up bike, which is adorable. And I honestly love the Hall Court and Garden Court because the buildings are so pretty. So we made our way to Sydney Gardens. And because it's a relatively small college, the gardens aren't massive, which is nice. You know, it doesn't feel like you're getting lost. It feels like you've got a nice little kind of path to go on. Um, but it's very much feeling and looking like winter at the moment with the bleak sky. So this is Cloister Court and Cloister Court is stunning. It's where we had our matriculation photos and I believe it will be where we'll have our postgraduate photos too. But yeah, it's honestly such a pretty building and I feel very much like I'm in Harry Potter. <laughs> so here are the Sydney Gardens looking rather cold and bleak with the, all the leaves falling off the trees. That is the back of the Cloister Court. So I guess while I show you Sydney Gardens and while I kind of give you a little walk around uh, I guess I'll talk to you a little bit about how I found my kind of first term at Cambridge I will be releasing quite a big video explaining it all but when I have time that is the question um, I've honestly loved everything at Cambridge it has been such a phenomenal experience the people you know the course everything it's just felt very much almost you know not to sound cliche but I felt very much like I belonged here you know I have met some incredible people incredible lecturers it's yeah it's honestly been incredible um i obviously had a setback and i'm still experiencing a couple of setbacks with my seizures which is all explained in another video and i'll be making a, a rather large video explaining uh the ins and outs of that but aside from you know the the struggles and things that are happening with my seizures everything else is just amazing just, you know, literally everything, formals, um, events with postgrads, you know, even undergrads. I, I'm in undergrad accommodation and everyone here is so, so lovely. I just love being part of a college system and just stepping out into Cambridge. Like, I can't quite put into words how much I love being here and how incredible it is and how surreal it feels. You know, I walk around Sydney Gardens and it still doesn't seem real that I am a Cambridge student. Yeah, it's... it's uh, it's something that I think will probably won't even sink in until I leave. <laughs> um, I would say, you know, it can get stressful at times, but I think a lot of it is putting it into perspective and just remembering how amazing it is to be here and studying at Cambridge. So after a very quick 10 minute walk around Sydney Gardens, I had a meeting with someone from the Disability Resource Centre, which was basically just to talk about exam assessment arrangements, just in case I have a seizure during an exam. And the woman who I speak to at the DRC is beyond helpful, beyond lovely, and have been such a huge help with everything that's happened this term with my seizures. After my meeting, I then started to eat my lunch. 
and no surprise, I also did more cue cards. So something that is different this year, um, aside from you know my previous years in maths undergrad, is that I now have an iPad. Now this was something that I was kind of skeptical about. I didn't know whether it would change, you know, how I revise or anything like that. And honestly, it's been such a help just having everything in one place. The amount of cue cards I'm having to write for this one module would probably go through so much paper and then having to carry that around whereas here I have it and it's synced to the cloud so I can have them on my phone and on my laptop as well which is quite helpful just in case you know one device breaks or anything which touch what it won't but yeah having an iPad has kind of changed the game slightly so my plan for once I finish my master's is just to release a load of videos explaining everything because I feel like I have I have so many videos that I want to film about Cambridge but just not enough time. So yeah, uh, if you subscribe, then expect lots and lots of videos, not only during my master's, but also after my master's as well. So after a few more hours of writing cue cards, we then ventured out in the rainy weather to grab some food. And to no surprise, I got a wasabi. And then I went back to the postgrad common room and this was at about seven o'clock, I think. We set up the Christmas tree in the MCR and it's just so so cute feels so so like christmas uh, and everyone there is so lovely they are all part of the postgrad community yeah and as i said before it's such a friendly community to be part of i then said goodbye to both my friends and headed back to my room got changed got into bed and decided to do a few more cue cards before editing a youtube video so that has been vlogmas number one i appreciate the video has mainly been cue cards but I guess we are in Christmas break and revision has started. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in vlogmas number two.